going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Box Monday and today is a very, very special episode because today's episode is sponsored by the famous Chasing Diecast Cars. Yes, how awesome is this? Oh, let me just put that lid away. Yeah, uh, I got home the other day and this box was waiting for me. Oh, I was so excited. This is an incredibly heavy box. Wow, once again, it is actually 4.9 kilograms, almost 5 kilos of uh, awesomeness. Uh, so a huge, huge thank you to Chasing Diecast Cars and a huge recommendation for anybody else watching. Uh, please go over to Chasing Diecast Cars. I will leave a link in the video description, but please go over to Chasing Diecast Cars, say hello, enjoy the content and subscribe because he is pretty much the, pretty much the best YouTube channel for uh, Diecast. Uh, well, I think so anyway. He's one of my absolute uh, dearest friends and thankfully he uh, has sent me an incredible box and I've actually got your box sitting over here as well, mate. So uh, yeah, um, let me just get this one out of the way. That's that one. And this is your box here. So um, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's approximately the same size box on the side there. Uh, yeah, it's an old Lego box there. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm going to get that out uh, in the morning. It's currently Sunday, midnight Sunday for me. So, uh, or technically now it's probably uh, just gone Monday morning. So I'll get that out in a few hours uh, when I leave in the morning. Uh, but for now, oh my goodness, this is so heavy. For now, let's get on into this humongous, humongous box here. Oh, I've been excited all weekend waiting to open this up. I have no idea what's in here. We'll quickly slice the tape there and get the tape off here as well. And let's see what we have. Oh, you can't imagine the amount of excitement I have right now. Uh, every time CDC sends me something from uh, from Belgium, from overseas in Europe, it's amazing, absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, let's let's see what we have. Ooh, what is this? Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, this is actually still a card car. Okay, but how cool is this? All right, we'll leave some of this stuff covered over. We'll leave that covered over, and we'll check out this first. What is this? This is cool. Check out that. An EMW 342, 340-2 limousine. Wow, that is really nice. I love these old classic cars like this. Just that styling is so cool. Look at these. Wow. Uh, Sasha... Sasha... Sring? Sasha Ring? <laughs> P240. I am so sorry I can't pronounce these. That's cool. And a Wartburg 312. Wow, that's awesome. Very cool. We don't get these cars in Australia, so what do we have? Oh, wow. What is this from? Ah, this is... I can't read the, um, the language, unfortunately. I'm so sorry that I can't pronounce this. Uh, I won't embarrass myself by uh, trying to pronounce it, but that's cool. Look at that. Nice card art number two, 2005. Pretty cool cars in the background there as well. And there we go. A Steren, Steren quell? Oh, it's a, is that a, a beer? Like, is this like a, um, uh, a, like a promotional, a beer promotional sort of thing? From the Automobile Museum. Wow. Oh, how cool is this? <laughs> Three euros, I assume. Can we just get that out of the way? See if we can get this out of the way. Yeah, this might be a little bit longer of an episode, so, uh, yeah, if you need to go and pause the video to go and get yourself something to, to nibble on, have a little bit of a drink and something to eat. Oh, how cool does this look? I'll get that off properly afterwards. Wow, that is so nice. Oh, look at the detail on that. So what kind of car is this one? Um, this is the EMW3273. That's cool. I've never seen one of these. 
Very nice. Chrome bumpers, blue and light blue two-tone colour paint. Chrome wheel covers. Grill details, headlight details. Wow. That is very, very, very nice. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much for that. What a great, great start for that. Something I've never seen in my entire life. Very, very cool. That is amazing. All right, uh, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, I can see John Wick. Oh, I wonder what that is. Ah, oh, that's, that's going to be exciting too. Oh, very nice. Very nice. The Bone Shaker in yellow. That is very cool. I do actually have this car, but I don't have a short card version, so that is awesome. Very, very cool. Yes, from the Hot Wheels Daredevils. I think this was 2016, I believe. Oh, that is really, really nice. Thank you for that. That is very, very cool. Oh, wait, this is a Forza Motorsport one. Wait. Hang on. Forza Motorsport. It's a little Forza logo somewhere. Okay, maybe I don't have this one, actually. I do have a yellow one. I think it was from this a similar, similar year. 2017. Okay, maybe this one is a different one. Okay, whoa. Because I, I don't recognize this at all, but I do have a yellow one, but I think it's just yellow with flames, but no skull, possibly. Oh, now you've gotten me intrigued. Wow. Wow, that is very, very cool. Very, very nice. I do quite enjoy the Bone Shaker. I do actually try to buy uh, all of the variations that I can find, uh, depending on where I can find them and how much they cost. I'll pretty much buy every different variation I can find. Uh, so that is pretty cool. I actually think that might actually be a different one. I'm going to have to have a check after the show. And uh, uh, now I'm very, very intrigued. Oh, yes. Another favorite casting from the uh, Heat Fleet series 2011. The Fished and Chipped. Yes. That is too, too cool. Nice kind of satin blue there orange and yellow flames stretched along the sides a little bit of light blue pinstriping there too wow nice bit of a uh, gold trim on those wheels chrome grill and bumpers very cool very cool red window and around the back we get the chrome bumpers as well yeah that is absolutely awesome that is very cool and i think i might actually put this one up on display uh, replace a couple of other cars and make sure that this one here actually goes on display now because that is very very nice yeah very very cool 2010 copyright 2011 release oh very very nice yes he definitely knows my uh, my taste in cars that is for sure Ooh. oh a hot speed I've not seen one of these Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS Wow, that was really nice. Nice red chrome wheels. Has the headlight, grill and badge detail. Very cool. I don't have one of these in the collection. Uh, no lights in the back or possibly could be lights in the back there. It's got a bit of a wobble in the, the blister, but that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go around to the back. Uh, Uni Fortune Toys. Yeah, okay. Awesome. It looks like a welly. It looks just like a welly, except the wheels are slightly different. But yeah, that's awesome. Cool. No, I haven't got one of those, and I love having uh, different country card variations and stuff like that too. That's that's always always awesome. Oh, we're only like the smallest way through this box. From Dreamland, we have an Audi R8 coupe, and there we go. There we have it. Nice silver with the details there as well. And it's not the same wheels. This kind of look like the uh, the same wheels. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, I get you. Oh, okay, I know what's going on now. Uh, they're just uh, using this the uh, cars and uh, re-stamping their own card onto them. This should say the same thing. Yep, Uni Fortune Toys. So yeah. Okay, so they are actually from the same manufacturer or distributor. That's pretty cool. We go Audi badge on the front there, blacked out grill section, headlights are painted. Are they painted? 
Uh, no, the headlights are not painted, but we do get other details on the front there. A little bit of black on the back uh, side there, and around the back there we get the rear brakes. Nice extra spoiler. Very cool blacked out section there. That's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, cool. That's pretty awesome. And I love stuff like that. That's really interesting to know that uh, all these cars have different... Um... <laughs> see if we can... See if there's a possibility that we can get this to flip. No, uh, we're not going to be able to flip it, but this one here, as you can see, is a GM official scanner thingy there. Uh, it's a, Do a Corvette. C706, I believe. Nice headlight details badge on the front there. A little bit of black grille and some racing stripes over the whole thing. Uh, chrome wheels, nice blue paint job. Around the back there, we get the details in the back there too. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's cool. And it's uh, flipped around in the packaging, so. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of a flip. No, it went back the other way. Actually, it's already almost open. Let's just do this. Yes. All right, now I can keep the package in too because that's important for me because this was a gift. A little bit of uh, package rub on the side there, rubbing off a little bit of that blue paint, but that's all right. Uh, no suspension in the wheels. Lovely metallic blue color. Yeah, a little bit of package rubbing there from being upside down and me shaking it around probably didn't help. <laughs> But still, that is very nice. Very nice. Yeah, very cool. Uh, once again, it's a brand I have never heard of before. The bottom of it looks like a welly. Uh, but there you go. You see Uni Fortune just there. Dreamland stamp. Oh, it's an R. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, that's a uh, RMZ City vehicle. Ah, and it's a Corvette Grand Sport. Wow. And it's a little bit of uh, tab holding the wheels in place there. Yeah, that's really nice. Very cool. Yes, I'm aware that I have uh, shaken it around a little bit, so I would probably uh, scratch a lot of that paint off on there myself, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't bother me for condition stuff like that. I'm just happy to have like different variations of stuff uh, at all. I'm just going to move this over to the side a little bit. And, oh, this is so much stuff to dig through. Okay, we'll go for this John Wick car because that looks, oh, it is, it is the Mustang. Yes, the 1970, oh, wait, no, it's a Chevy Chevelle. Oh, cool, it's open too, sweet. So we can actually look at it. Ah, oh, John Wick 2, I thought he had a Mustang. That's my, that, that's probably uh, from the first movie maybe. Uh, but yeah, I thought he had a, uh, a green, kind of similar to bullet color green Mustang. Oh, that's very cool. From the John Wick movie, the beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, there we go. There is the back there for you all. Oh, yes. Let's open this up. Oh, that's so cool that we can actually open it and have a look at this. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice green colored paint. Nice uh, silver around the fenders there. Chrome wheels, rubber tires. A black interior, proper steering wheel. Oh, opening bonnet. Uh, racing stripes over the bonnet and the boot there. Headlight detail, grill detail, chrome bumpers, license plate there. Wow. Oh, and there we have the uh, Chevy orange engine inside there. So we can get that to balance. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Lots of detail on the engine there, actually. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Greenlight does actually make some really, really cool castings, uh, especially when they do these movie versions of cars as well. Uh, they do quite a good job. And there is the rear there. Once again, some great detailing there. Yeah. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I'm glad that it was actually open so I can actually look at that. Very cool. Uh, we'll just pop some of this loose stuff around here, get some of this stuff cleared out of the way there. And we'll just move on to... Oh! <laughs> For a second then I thought it was the uh, Harry Potter car. Uh, no, this is the 1970 Datsun 510 with ski roof rack. Wow! Uh, part of the vintage ad cars, the Datsun Snow Job. 
and there's a little bit of uh, extra stuff there. You can pause and read that if you want to. Wow, very, very cool. Oh, that is really, really nice. Nice standard looking vehicle. Just a very, very clean looking car. Uh, so I'm going to be a little bit quiet when I get stuck on stuff like this because I'm just kind of in awe of how cool this stuff looks. Wow. Nice lighting detail and everything on the back there. Skis look really cool. Wow, that is really, really awesome. That is so cool. And nice details on the front there. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for that one too. That is, wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of room incredibly quickly, I think. <laughs> but that's a kind of balance up there. Oh, okay. I see a whole bunch of these Dreamworld cars. So let's just grab all of these out. Oh, <laughs> okay. There's some, oh, wow. Okay, okay. The bottom of the box is just gets, it just gets better and better as it goes. Okay, let's have a look at some of these quickly. Oh, these are very, very cool. I should probably just open all of these up, to be honest, um, and just have like a little collection. Maybe we'll do that in a future episode. Let me know if you'd like me to open up all of these uh, Dreamland RMZ City cars. Oh, sorry, this is a Maserati Levante GTS. Once again, a vehicle that I just have never seen as a die cast before. Rear details nice, chrome wheels look nice, white paint job is nice and clean. Uh, details on the front there with the Maserati Spork. Very cool, very cool. And a little bit of silver paint for the headlights there. Oh, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I love it when there's just when they're just random weird cars like this, which you just don't seem to see in other like Hot Wheels or Matchbox uh, lineups. Very, very awesome. Let's just move some of this stuff up the back there so we can actually see some of this. There we go. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Aston Martin in a kind of like that tennis ball yellow color. Uh, nice. <coughs> sorry. Nice wheels. Let me just have a drink, sorry. I'm going to continue coughing. I'm still kind of trying to get over that whole thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. It wasn't that. It's not. I wasn't sick like in like the C word sick like I was just yeah burnt out more than anything like that it just got to me all right there we go I've had my sip of drink and we can continue wow that is super cool once again it's another car that you just don't get uh, very much the 2018 Aston Martin Vantage that is so nice wow a little bit of a license plate area on the front there too in the grill that is so cool. Got a light bar on the back there. Yes. Once again, fantastic choice. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. There's so many awesome cars. Ah, yep, they just keep getting better and better. You have, you have packed this box perfectly. Oh, now we've got a Bentley, a Bentley Continental GT in red. Very, very nice. It's kind of like a, a flat matte red color. Chrome wheels. Kind of like those uh, Y5s that Hot Wheels uses. Headlight details, grill details, badge details, little blacked out vent sections. Oh, so cool. And uh, if it does have brake lights, does, you can't tell because it's a red car. But yeah, very, very nice. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm just so I'm just so amazed. Just so amazed. Oh, now we got a Mercedes Benz AMG C63S in white. Very cool. Nice clean white paint job. Uh, grill details, badge, headlights on the front there. And I like it actually how they actually put the uh, license plate section on these cars as well. It's more realistic. And uh, yeah, on the back there, it's got that little square section or that rectangle there for a uh, license plate. Yeah, very, very cool. So yeah, if you have like those little tiny transfers uh, and you can stick them onto there, you can create your own uh, license plates for these. That'd actually be pretty fun to do. <clears throat> uh, this one does not have a name, so we'll have to see what this one is. It looks like a BMW 
very nice dark blue paint, chrome wheels, and yes, it is a BMW. Awesome. Big kidney grills, headlight details, got the badge on the bonnet there. Very, very nice. That's actually a really nice uh, casting for this. Uh, light details on the back there painted on. Yeah, that is actually, that's actually quite nice. Quite nice, I have to admit. <laughs> Sorry, I will keep going on as fast as I can. But you know me, I do get distracted very, very easily. <laughs> Next up we have the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS in red. So we had a, oh no, we had the red version. Let me just move that down there. Reach over to grab this. So there we go. We have a red version and a gray version. That is awesome. Same wheels, I assume it's the same casting, just obviously a, a different color variation. Uh, but there we go, that's that's very nice actually. Nice dark charcoal grey kind of colour. Lights on the back there paint on nicely. Yeah, I have to say that is really, really, really cool. And all those grill details on the front there, headlight details, badging and all that too. So yeah, I think that these two might actually have to come out of the packaging. I think that uh, future, maybe next week, we might actually open a few of these because they're very, very cool. And if I open them carefully, I might be able to keep the packaging as well. So, uh, yeah, very, very nice. Well, what do we have? All right, we'll go for this one first. Oh, cool. A Ford F-150. Big, huge chrome five-spoke wheels. Black paint job. Uh, headlight details, badge details on the front there. Very cool. Very cool. This one's actually got a bed cover. See the, on the top there, you can see the uh, tonneau cover there. Uh, brake lights are painted on and it's got black bumpers on the back there. That's nice as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, we actually get, we have to go and have to open up all of these cars, I think. Oop, I'm bumping the camera and everything. And the last one that I could see from the uh, pile, uh, there's possibly more, we never know, uh, is the Ford GT. And yes, I have mentioned many times that I am actually a big fan of the Ford GT. I think it's one of the coolest cars ever. Uh, and I'm... I'm, I'm a Corvette guy pretty much through and through. I love my Corvettes, uh, but I'd buy one of these before I'd buy the new C8 any day. Uh, yeah, sorry, but the Ford GT is just way too cool, and this is way more of a supercar uh, than the Corvette C8 will ever be, for, for me at least anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is very nice. It's got brake lights painted on there. The exhaust got a little bit of detail on there. So very cool, very, very cool. Yeah, headlight details, badge details, more vents on the bonnet there. Oh, so awesome. So yes, this one is 100% going to be opened. I can guarantee that. Uh, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh my goodness. There's just so much. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know which way I am supposed to be unboxing this, but I'm just gonna continue with like the, uh, the green light side that I can see. There's a couple of green lights here and there's also, uh, yeah, this one's also a green light but it's on a, a cardboard card. Uh, this is a green machine. Awesome. The 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS for five euros. What a bargain. That is a pretty good price for a, uh, a green machine, I will have to admit. Wow, that's very cool. Once again, it's in a beautiful red paint job. It's got that lovely white stripe down the side there. Those green wheels actually look pretty cool on it. Uh, around the back there, get the silver bumper, brake light details, all of that painted up there beautifully. Convertible version. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna try and peel this off a little bit if I can. I don't know if I'm about to get it all off, but we'll try our luck. I won't worry about that for the time being, but there we go. Ooh, that is so nice. That is incredible, yes. Got the uh, silver on the bonnet there too. Nice headlight details, grill details, all of that. That is so cool. American Edition. Uh, Motor World American Edition, I should say. Uh, there is the back there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, nice lineup of cars as well. Um, why is there a Honda Civic in the USA selection? <laughs> that is actually, uh, yeah. 
I am not going to, uh, I'm not going to ask any more questions about that. Some of the lineups of some of these cars are just hilarious. But why is there a Honda Civic in the, uh, the lineup of the USA side? Wow, that is very, very cool. Yes, I know I just said that I preferred the Ford GT over the C8 Coupe or the C8. Um, but that doesn't mean that I, I don't still like the car. Like, I like the car, but if it came down to choosing one to, to buy and drive, it would 100% be a Ford GT before the uh, Corvette Stingray. Uh, just, yeah. I don't know. This is just such a, uh, a strange kind of car from uh, the Corvette line to me. Uh, that is just a little bit... I still call it the Eurovet and it's got all those details there which say that it's just basically a rebadged Ferrari so um, yeah everybody has their own opinion uh, but uh, the Corvette C8 is a very very cool car but we all know that it's essentially just a, um, a Ferrari what is it, a Ferrari 430 or something like that or something I don't know I don't know the exact car um, but yeah you all, go, you all know what I mean. They reverse engineered the Ferrari uh, and then made the Corvette C8. And uh, as good as it is, it's just uh, one of those things. I'd rather have the C7. The C7 to me is, the C7 Z06 is just like the top of the line of the Corvette for me. That is like the number one ultimate Corvette uh, as far as like Corvetteness goes, I guess. <laughs> Yes, I know I'm rambling on because it's such a cool car. I do quite like this. The running on empty series is really nice. It gets really cool uh, livery all over. This is in the shell livery. Racing wheels with the tyre writing and everything. Very, very heavily detailed there. Details on the wing. Uh, nice light details. Badging, all of that. So cool. So, so cool. Yes, it is 100% an incredibly cool car. Uh, but it's still going to take me a while to get used to it uh, because I'm just so used to having like um, front engined Corvettes, I guess. I guess that's kind of what I know as a Corvette. It's just like the engine in the front just being like pure American muscle style thing. Oh, wow. Ooh. Sorry, I'm looking into the box there. Wow, that is... Okay, uh, we're going to have to go straight to the A-Team. I'm rambling beyond a joke. Uh, <laughs> my battery's probably about to, uh, uh, my camera's probably about to turn off uh, because it's about to hit that 30 minute mark where the camera auto turns off and then I'll have to restart. Uh, so yeah, you might get a little bit of an edit there uh, because I've been rambling on for far too long because this is so cool. Uh, B.A. Baracas. 1983 GMC Vandura in the dirty version with the dirt all over it. Lovely red wheels, got that three-tone color or the two-tone with that red stripe down the side and up over the roof there. Wow, that's super cool. So, so cool. Look at all the detail on the front there. It's even got the license plate there. Very, very nice. Even got the windows fully uh, covered over there too. That's nice. Very, very cool. And uh, we are most likely going to be opening this one here up uh, because, well, it's the A-Team. I think everybody wants to have a look at the A-Team van. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Going to quickly uh, pause and restart the recording. So give me one second. All right. As I was saying, this next car... <coughs> sorry. Oh, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, have my little sip of drink there. From the Nazareth National Motor Speedway is the 1982 Chevrolet Corvette. And this is like, this is a pace car. Look at that, the official pace car. Races RSCA, Stout, Auto Sales. Oh, that's so cool. It's kind of like a, uh, a metallic brown kind of color. That's kind of a weird colour, but that's really, really awesome. Details all through the back there, two nice details on the lights there. And on the front there. Uh, this one would have the opening bonnet by the looks of it. I'll be able to get the extra details down on the uh, front there, little indicators and such there. That is so cool. The same thing on the back. 1910 to 2004, Lower Nazareth Township, Northampton County. 
very, very awesome. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that a lot of uh, the racetracks, the speedways and drag strips and all of that are closing in America because America is kind of known for their racing scene, like that's and their cars. So take away that, it's kind of, kind of, uh, yeah, losing quite a lot of of the Americanness, I guess, uh, by removing all of the uh, racetracks in America. Um, yeah, so support your racetracks if you live overseas in America. Make sure that you support any petitions to save them uh, over there as well, because we also have a problem with it happening here. Um, Hartrefield uh, Drift Track up in Queensland, uh, that had to be closed as well because of like council reasons and such like that too. So it's not an uncommon thing around the world, um, but yeah, unfortunately, it seems to be happening incredibly fast in America. So, uh, very nice to point that out. Thank you to that. Thanks to that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, anyone in America, support your local racetracks or just racetracks in general and uh, keep the sport alive. Uh, next, we have some character cars from the Batman vs Superman movie. Incredibly cool is the armored Batman Batmobile. Wow, that's awesome. It's got off-road wheels and stuff like that. Look at the details on there. Kind of like a, uh, it's not a Zamac, but it's kind of like a, uh, like a silver, but it's got like a battle scars and such all over it there. That's so awesome. It's got such an amount of patina on there. That's way, way cool. And then we have the Superman Man of Steel car. Very nice, dark metallic blue, some light blue pinstriping. The Superman S on the front there, red on the back. Uh, those weird kind of like, pizza cutter kind of wheels uh, with some blue yeah that's awesome and uh, yeah pretty cool how they match the colors up with the suits kind of got a little bit of texture detail to it too it's very hard to see but it does have a little bit of texture detail to that back bit there and there is the rear there with some little wings over the rear wheel that is super cool and yeah I love these sorts of uh, two packs like this just because of display purposes they look absolutely incredible and here is the back there that's awesome. A little bit of extra painting uh, details there. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, yeah, that will go onto display uh, because I have my whole Batman collection just over here. So that will go on there with the Batmobiles. That is too, too cool. Um, <laughs> running out of room already. Put that just kind of there. <laughs> it's, in the, it's still in the frame. Oh, wow. Wow, and now a Maisto design uh, ramp truck with a, nine, <laughs> a 1969 Corvette Coupe. Look at the truck first, look at that. That is awesome. Firestone livery on the side there. Uh, it's got some Maisto uh, badging on the side there too. Big, huge Firestone wheels. Awesome, nice details on the front there. That is cool. Uh, it's got roof details, it's got lights on the top there too. And then we get onto the Corvette. Look at that, with a huge blown engine. Yes, thank you very much. That is too, too awesome. Oh, uh, chrome. <coughs> oh, once again, I'm very sorry. Um, chrome headlight in there, uh, chrome bumpers and such there too. Uh, let's get the Firestone tires on there as well. The same lightning livery. Uh, blue to white to red to black. Some racing sponsors on the side there. Oh, it's even got a racing harness inside and a chrome steering wheel. Wow! That is awesome. And it's got those details on the back there as well. That is too, too cool. See if we can just pop this down. There we go. That's a little bit better. Maybe we can get a little bit more of a look there. Yeah, a little bit better to see the rear details there. But yeah, very, very awesome. That is incredible, and I'm um, just going to open it. <laughs> oh, I could salvage this packaging somewhat. There we go. Oh, yes, we just one had. To, we just had to open this. We just had to open this, and there's still so much in the box there as well. I'm just absolutely, I'm absolutely blown away with the quality of this stuff. This is just awesome. All right. See the ramp truck has a slide function there. There we go, a bit better look at the truck and its livery. Very cool, nice metallic blue paint. Some racing sponsors, clear window, 
three-seater interior. Lights on the top, uh, the little safety orange light there is a separate piece. Very, very cool. A nicely detailed interior too, actually. A little bit hard. <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry for all the uh, constant clearing on my throat. I, I, it's something that I've just had to deal with and uh, I'm sorry to put you guys through it. Uh, but yes, this is uh, too cool. I've even got a little tow hook on the back there as well, so you can get another trailer for it. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. And here we have the car. Look at that. Nice interior. Nice harnesses there. Wow, very cool. It's got the rubber tires, got chrome side pipes, big blown chrome engine. Oh, that's very cool. And there we go. There's the front there, grill details, chrome bumpers. Uh, same livery on the opposite side. Uh, chrome bumpers on the rear there. A fuel cap there on the top there. And there's the back there, it has Maisto on the license plate and the brake lights are painted up there as well. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. Yes, and I'm glad that we opened that one up because that one actually is going to uh, go on to display uh, pretty much straight away. I'm just going to keep that keep that out and handy for the time being. Oh, and this, <laughs> okay, I found a loose car. All right, we'll do the loose car and then there's a whole bunch of other boxed cars and, oh wow, <laughs> I found a transformer. Awesome. All right. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, CDC has actually already sent me a couple of these uh, trends. I've got a price tag on me. <laughs> uh, he's already sent me a couple of these transformers in this uh, card design before. So this one actually already has got a place to go to immediately. Uh, this is Steel Jaw. Look at that thing. Wow. Kind of like a, uh, a steel blue color. It's got the Decepticon logo on the wheels there. Uh, a little bit of headlight detail painted on there. There's the Decepticon logo on the bonnet. Some crazy wings. And some uh, brake lights on the back there. That is very, very cool. Thank you so much for that. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that I love my Transformers as well. Uh, I still collect my Transformers. like So yeah, very, very happy for that. I don't usually open up my Transformers very often these days, but I do have a few that I'd like to open. So if you want to see me actually open a few uh, Transformers that I've bought recently, uh, put it down in the comments. All right, let's get onto this mystery loose car, which is bubble wrapped quite well with the bands. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, wow. That is very, very nice. Ah, yes. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but my favorite uh, Porsches ever designed are just like this with the big crazy wing off the back and it has to be red with the black accents. That is, this is a perfect, perfect representation of like my dream uh, Porsche. That is beautiful. Lens headlights, Porsche badge, nice extra details on the front there, painted up there. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Uh, genuine looking wheels, rubber tires. Has that tan leather interior. Wow, that is so beautiful. Nice clear window. Back seat there is also available for use. Uh, black paint over the wing and the vent there. And there we have the Porsche turbo badge on the back there. That whole light bar on the back is also lensed as well. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, we will get to the base in a second because I'd love to see what brand this actually is. Oh, I should have known. I, put, I should have known. There we go, the Porsche 911 Turbo 1973. True 164 scale. Shuko do make some of the, the most best detailed cars there are. Even the window wipers on there as well. Look at that. Oh, that is so, so awesome. Um, yes, that is 100% one of the best cars ever. And uh, it, is actually this, it is actually the exact model that I like. There we go, the 911 Turbo and the 70s model as well. So yes, that is, ah, oh, that is awesome. That is, ah, oh, that is so cool. 
Like I will admit, I'm not the biggest Porsche guy, but when it comes to a Porsche like that, I'm all in. I, I want everything to do with that particular Porsche. That is just, that's absolutely awesome. I don't know where to start now. There's a couple of things out here that are wrapped up. So um, we will go for these loose cars first. Ooh, what is this? An Edo car. What is this? Oh, it's a uh, Porsche Cayenne. Awesome, it's got the lens headlights. Ah, oh, yes, we can actually open this one here. Let's open this up. I've not seen one of these before. I don't think I've... I don't think I have any Edo cars at all in my collection. Uh, this is possibly the first first one. I'll uh, pop the car down for a second. I just want to have a quick look at the box. Uh, there's the base there. Yeah, I've never seen an actual Edo car in the box. Two euros, bargain. Oh, that's cool. Nice silver wheel, silver metallic paint job. Nice interior. Wow. Lens headlights look really, really cool. Uh, blacked out section for the grill. That is really, really cool. Yeah, very happy for that too. And the rear has the lensed lights also. Let me get that to focus a little bit. Yeah. That is really, really cool. And uh, there we go, Edo car. Oh, it's also screwed, uh, screwed down. I didn't know that they did that for the Edo cars. Wow, very cool. Let's see if we can find a spot for this. Oh, we'll just leave it just out the front there. <laughs> we are going to be running out of room very, very quickly. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way so we can get some more stuff. Because there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, there's a, a an era car. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, <laughs> oh, this is going to be nice. Um, there's a... Wow. 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 Um, okay. It just gets better and better and better and better. Wow. An era car. Nissan GTR R35 Smart Night Livery. 164 scale. Let's see if we can open this one here up carefully so we can uh, not damage it. Because the last thing I want to do is actually damage the uh, packaging for something like this. Because I know, I already know, because uh, I've seen these era car uh, cars before. Uh, so I already know that it's going to be really, really awesome. So here we go. Ready? Oh, wow. That is awesome. It's kind of like a neon yellow uh, livery on this. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I picked up a, uh, a Majorette gift pack, which was like a neon speeder style um, pack and they had a, a, a GTR in there as well which had a, a a similar style livery like this on it which is really really cool oh that is so very very awesome nice wheels uh, rubber wheels as well love the uh that crazy uh outline over it too brings out all of the details there nice headlight details on there and they're actually lensed headlight pieces as well very very cool tiny little GTR badge in there that's awesome. Right hand drive as it should be. Ooh, so cool. Nice wing detail on the back there. Look at the rear. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Nice. Uh, the tips are painted up silver. It's got a little brake light down there painted up there too. The lens lights look awesome. They kind of like, have that kind of nightshade effect, but they are red lenses. GTR badge and everything. Oh, I didn't even notice this. I didn't even notice. Look at this! I can't, I'm not going to force that. Oh, there we go. It has opening doors as well. Oh, I did not know that. That is absolutely awesome. This is going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry at the same time because it's just incredible. Full racing seats, a proper steering wheel. Oh, that is super awesome. Wow, even the detail on the doors there. Look at that. Oh, that has just blown me away. Is there any more opening parts on this? Oh, I think we have an opening bonnet too, do we? I think we have an opening bonnet too. A little bit of, a little bit of area where I can get a little bit of... 
Oh, uh, maybe it's not an opening one. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like it should open, but I don't want to force it. <sighs> yes! Ah! Look at that! Ah, look at that! Wow! Look at that! Oh! Would you look at that? That is awesome! Does the boot open by chance? No. <laughs> wow. 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 Look how cool that is. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. That is too cool. All right, pop that down there. Close the bonnet to keep it safe. Uh, we'll move on to this. What is this? Uh, this one here is, okay, we're going to leave this one till the uh, end of this other few cards. Ooh, 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 FB Craftsman. Okay, uh, sorry guys, we're going to postpone this one. We will leave it just here underneath this and we'll leave that for a moment. Oh, that is so nice. I love that. That is super cool. And we'll have a look at these that I can see. Mini Champs, yes, 164 scale, beautiful cars. And I actually am going to be putting all of these uh, Mini Champs into a display case uh, soon. I just have to go and pick it up. Uh, my bro has a display case, which he had all of his uh, cars in before, but now he has uh, currently moved house, so he hasn't got the space for it anymore. Okay, we've got the package in there. Uh, so I'm gonna go and pick up this giant uh, display cabinet and I'm going to be putting all of the uh, these special cars that were sent to me from CDC over the last couple of years into the uh, display case finally. Oh, it's so nice. Porsche Cayenne S. Uh, we can open this one. Actually, we won't open it just yet. We'll look at it through here. Uh, we'll open these boxes in a uh, future Mystery Box Monday episode uh, and we'll have a proper look at them then. That is incredibly cool. Pop that over there. I'm kind of running out of space on the top here. So uh, I'm just to move this, oh, move this over here. It's kind of out of the screen, but uh, needs to be there. Ooh, very nice. I think he sent me a, uh, a blue one of these before, or maybe it, was a, maybe it wasn't a Cayman. I don't know, but I think he has uh, sent me a similar version, not a red one. I know I do not have a red one of these. Uh, so very, very happy for that. Yes, how cool is that? Um, it's pretty obvious that my favorite color is red. <laughs> I mean, I've had the red towel down here forever. This has always been the color of the channel. The channel color is red uh, and uh, very, very happy to have a nice red Porsche came in in the collection as well. So yes, these will all be on display uh, properly in a proper display cabinet uh, in the next few weeks, hopefully. Oh, wow, look at that, another Aston Martin, Aston Martin DBS, very, very cool. And the, uh, the level of details on the Mini Champs is just mind blowing. Really, really is so cool. Kind of hard to see all of the detail being a uh, dark gray metallic paint job. But take my word for it, that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. I'm just looking at it mostly off camera than anything else. Uh, but yeah, the detail on the interior is great as well. Oh, uh, there's one more in a box. Oh, uh, from the Michael Schumacher collection, we have a Ford Cosworth. So I'm just trying to get a picture of Michael Schumacher up the back there. Uh, edition 64, number nine. Uh, Michael Schumacher's signature maybe? I don't know. Um, there's a signature on there anyway, but it's from the Michael Schumacher collection. Very, very nice. See if we can actually uh, open this one up. Yes, we can actually open this one here up. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And there's the signature there. Look at the car. What a fantastic details on there. It's got that huge wing. I love that wing on the uh, Cozzies. Nice details on the front there. Wow, that is just, that is so nice. The detail of these cars is just mind blowing as I keep saying. 
the details on the rear there as well. Wow, that is awesome. That is incredible. That, yes. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you guys think of, of these cars that were sent, because I, I, I have no, I, my words are not working. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have words, but they're just not coming out of my mouth. It's just, it's just a jumble. I'm just so, so incredibly blown away. Uh, let me just pop this back into there so this part doesn't get lost from the GTR. And, um, okay, well, oh, wow, this is heavy. Oh, this is very heavy. What is this? Okay, I don't know what this is, but there's a very heavy bag just here. Um, and the last one here is also another very, very heavy bag. So I don't know what's in there, uh, but that is actually the last two items in the box, which means we can get that out of the way finally. Uh, find a spot for it, there we go. Those are very heavy. Um, so, uh, <laughs> actually what we're gonna do first, we're gonna open up this Tarmac Works box because I'm just, I'm too curious. I'm too, too curious. As we saw, the FB Craftsman, uh, a DM there, I think. Uh, choking hazards, some extra stuff written there as well. Oop, that was the right way. Um, more stuff there and the Tarmac Works logo on the top there. So I am very, very excited to see what this is. I just want to find a way to open this without damaging the black uh, card. There we go. Okay, we all know that this is going to be incredible. We all know that Tarmac Works makes some of the highest detail cars. Uh, and this is my very first real, actually it's, technically it's my second Tarmac Works because he actually, CDC already sent me one, which I can grab right now, actually, because it's literally right here. This was the last one that he sent to me, and it's a Mitsubishi Evo in red, which is just incredible. Uh, I love that. This one has been on display, as you can tell by the, uh, the little tiny dead spider <laughs> stuck to it. Uh, but yes, uh, this has been on display ever since, and I will eventually open this one here up and put it into the display case, uh, but it's still packed package sealed and everything like that so uh yeah this is the last one i got so we all know as you can see there the level of detail is just beyond absolutely beyond uh regular stuff okay so we have a tarmac works uh i think this is a side door yes this is the side door to the container uh, it comes in a little container here very cool 64 accessories d44 a little plastic container and then we have oh okay it has a, a clear piece on the front there oh that's awesome all right let's check this out oh we even have a little extra we even got a little red stig how cool is that there we go we have the stigs um uh tomato sauce eating cousin <laughs> i don't know um, what can you say? Put your best comments down below. What is the Stig here? Which Stig is this? Which Stig cousin is that? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love this little container. It's got a little thing there. Sorry, I'm geeking out on all of this stuff. This is just too cool. Wow, that is incredible. And I assume that this piece here would just go over the front there. Um, somehow. Or maybe it goes into side there. I'm not... Yeah, it fits there, so maybe it goes into there. But either way, I don't know how that works. Either way, we're just gonna go straight to the car because this is awesome. Let's see if we can get this out. Oh, it's even got a little extra spoiler. Um, do we attach the spoiler? Uh, I don't know how this works. Oh, okay, I know what's happened. Unfortunately, the uh, spoiler has come off. Uh, you can see there's a half a piece of the tab in there. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit of glue and glue this back on. But trust me, this is a very, very, very nice little piece to have on here. So we can get that to focus. There you go. So I'll have to get a little tiny bit of glue out of there and stick that on for the full effect of the uh, race car. Uh, but take my word for it. It looks race car-y. 
kind of. There we go. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about that. That's not, that's not a problem in the slightest. Wow. Just, we all know that the level of detail on these cars is so, so precise. Uh, having just these tiny, tiny, and I mean tiny, having something like this break off is expected, uh, to be honest, uh, especially traveling halfway around the world uh, to get to me and stuff like that. So um, I will get a little bit of glue onto that after the show and I'll put that on. Very, very cool details there. Uh, does this one have the opening parts as well? I don't know if this one has the opening parts uh, there. Nice wheels, rubber wheels and everything like that, rubber tires. Crazy looking uh, canards and front spoiler and all of that too. Lens headlights. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, speed needs no friends. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. And you can see inside there, it's got a lot of detail in the actual interior. Very hard to see, uh, but trust me, it's got a lot of detail on this. And there we go, speed needs, needs no friends. Look at how super wide this is. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll glue that back on and that is going to be added into the display collection as well because that is absolutely incredible cool. Very, very, very cool. Oh. <clears throat> um, I'll make sure to get that on there. So we'll pop this down here into there. And there we go. Look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, uh, we'll just pop this into here to keep it safe with the uh, the Stig's red friend, his chili eating mate. He's been eating those uh, hot Carolina Reapers or whatever they are, those super hot ghost peppers. And now he is turned red. Awesome. Uh, let's move this stuff out of the way. I don't want to lose that, so keep that handy. Um, all right, now uh, let's get on to the next one. And once again, I'm going to have a quick drink before we start. And we get onto these two giant bags. This is absolutely insane. What do we have in here? Oh, what? What? Oh, I just realized there's extra little pieces for that Tarmac Works uh, vehicle just there as well. So I'll figure out what that is uh, after the show. Look at this. Wow! Wow! This is insane! My goodness, John! Dude! Dude! Wow! Wow! Okay, we have cars galore! That's, that's the um the alligator one. Uh stingray sting coop uh what is it called? Super, super stinger. Oh, that's awesome. Are these, um... Yeah, they're all sealed in that. Where did these come from? They're all in sealed uh, plastic bags. Maybe these were, like, promotional ones from, like, possibly a McDonald's, maybe? I don't know. That's awesome. But, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of awesome, awesome cars here. Wow. This is so awesome. Look at this. That is very, very cool. So, okay, we're gonna have a lot of cars to open La Fasta. We're gonna open all of these up in a future Mystery Box Monday. Wow. And the Bone Shaker, I do not have this one. I'm well aware of that. Uh, I was about to open it, but we will save this for a, a future episode of Mystery Box Monday to get the full looking at it. Uh, because this video is going to be over two hours long if I sit here looking at every single car. Uh, in the minute details that I like to do. So, yeah, future episode, wow. Oh, we even have a blimp. The Hot Wheels Sports League. Awesome. This is the first uh, blimp that I've got in my collection. And there's the football on that side. And uh, we can do this as well, I think. There we go, touchdown. Da -da 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 -da. Touchdown! <laughs> oh, we'll leave this one out because that one's just cool. I love stuff like that. Oh, I got the uh, the rocket. Uh, what's it called? Ollie rocket. That's nice. 
Yeah, nice gold paint. I do admit, I am partial to a gold car. <laughs> ah, uh, MST Suzuka, I believe. I think that's what this one's called. Yes, the MST Suzuka. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, that'll be a nice one to open. Very nice one to open. We'll get to that. Uh, what's this one called? Uh, is this the Roadster or the Fast Feline? Pony Up. Uh, it's similar, similar uh, kind of shape to those cars. Uh, I'm not too sure what this one here is. I think that's the front there. Phantom Racer. Nice purple paint job, I will admit. That's really cool. Very, very cool. Ah, uh, this one as well. Wow, that's got some heavy weight to that. Full metal base there, metal cab. Um, oh, they're plastic on the front there. This used to have full metal engines on it as well. And this is the two-headed street freak. Oh, that is too awesome. Very cool. <laughs> That's a funny picture as well. Ah, oh, that is absolutely cool. Look at that. Yes, very, very nice. Uh, can't read anything on the base there. I think that the, uh, the name is just the two-headed street freak. Uh, but I thought that it had a different name to it as well. Oh, there's another one. Awesome. Is there another one? So I'm just having a look to see if there's any more now. <laughs> there's incredibly cool casting. There we go. Number 13 on the back there. Gold double star wheels or skull on the side door. Some racing sponsors. Gold engines once again. Oh, look at the top there. Kind of like a low rider style top on that. Big gold engine and radiator grill. That is awesome. That is too, too awesome. And there's the name there, Way Too Fast. That's the name that I was looking for. Oop, don't drop it. There we go. <laughs> oh, we have another fished and chipped. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, this is going to be, we're going to have some pretty good future episodes being able to open these. Um, I also have a light blue version of this, uh, this paint scheme as well. That's awesome. Wow. Uh, there's another car there with the whole uh, open interior uh, through the windows and such like that in the engine bay. Love that. This one here has overboard 454. Yep, overboard 454. Wow, that's cool. It's like an Oldsmobile or something like that, I think. Whatever it's based off there. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, such awesome, awesome cars. Uh, the Muscle Speeder, I think. I think that's what this one's called. Yep, the Muscle Speeder. Uh, there's also a uh, Project Speeder, uh, which is actually a version of this which has like panels removed, uh, removed from the guards and such like that. So yeah, it's kind of like a Project version of the Muscle Speeder. So keep your eyes open for uh, the Project Speeder uh, next time you're out. I don't know when the last time it was that we actually saw one in the store. Uh, on the lineup, but yeah, pretty awesome. It's got little lensed light sections in the front part of the window piece there as well. But that, yes, that is a very, very cool car. Very, very happy for that one as well. Uh, so many places to put, so many cars, not enough places to put things. Uh, we have a uh, 32 Ford in red with the yellow flames. Let's get something to focus on. There we go. Uh, the shark bite, very cool. Oh, look at the front there, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, it's also another variation that I do not have, so very happy for that as well. Love those clear wheels. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are well aware that I'm a big fan of the uh, fantasy castings as well. Uh, that's where the, create the creativity comes out for Hot Wheels, if you ask me. Uh, there we go. The moon eyes, very nice aero disc wheels. 
Moon Eyes livery on the top there. Moon Eyes SPL. And uh, same livery on that side. That's awesome. That is very cool. Yes, very, very happy for that. <coughs> All right, uh, it's one second, sorry guys. All right, there we go. Uh, what's this one called? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, let's go to the base. Let's see if I see a name. No, I can't remember what this one's called, but it's very, very awesome. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to try and go through. I've just realized how long we've been going for. So I'm going to try and move along a little bit quicker. Uh, but we will definitely open up a close look, have a closer look at all of these cars. Uh, the Custom Auto. Uh, we'll have a proper close look at these in future episodes. Just want to try and get through them so you can see them. There's another bone shaker there. That's awesome. That's very cool. Uh, we have the Solar Reflex. Awesome. That's an electric car. Um, I do actually have a few of these in my collection, so another variation I don't actually have, which I'm happy to add into the collection. So yeah, trying. Camera's having a hard time focusing through these plastic bags. Uh, the Arachno Rod, that's the giant spider one, which is probably the scariest Hot Wheels design that they've ever done. <clears throat> Not a big fan of spiders. Quite happy to have like snakes and stuff and around, but uh, spiders, no. No, thank you. Uh, there we go. Hot Wheels. Uh, the reason I, the reason Australians don't like spiders is because in Australia our spiders will literally kill you in under five minutes. So, yeah, uh, we have to worry about spiders in Australia. Whereas a lot of countries overseas, um, <laughs> you, you get like a headache and maybe you get a little bit sick and that, and that's about it. Or you have uh, a little bit of a. Uh, a wound for a while and that's about it but yeah in Australia we really have to be careful uh, with spiders uh, this one here is really really awesome this is the Parson Gasser uh, this one actually had a recent release so happy to have this one in the collection nice blue nice details there big chrome engine single in seat interior chrome details yeah that is very very cool very cool Pop that back in there for the time being. Oh, we got a low rider. Yes, get the Impala. <coughs> Sorry, once again, uh, once again, I apologize. Uh, but yes, this is beautiful. It seems that I cough when I get incredibly overexcited over a car. Love that. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Yes, chrome bumpers, nice metallic gold paint, gold and white. Uh, flames on the side, gold wheels. Wow. There we go. Uh, 65 Impala, or is it? Is it 65 Impala? It's, no, it's a 63 Impala or something like that, isn't it? I don't know. That's an Impala, uh, and it's very, very cool. And this will go right with my other uh, Impalas in my collection. That is awesome. That is very, very nice. Wow. And I'm going to pop that one up there because that's how much I like that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we got a Pepsi car. Nice Formula One Diet Pepsi. That's no, not Formula One, it's like Formula Three or something like that, isn't it? And this one has golden, golden cars or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Very nice. Uh, we'll, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Um, uh, the Track Ripper. Very, very cool. Yep, Track Ripper. Very nice, very nice. Because uh, we've still got another bag to go through, so I'm going to have to be quick. Uh, Formula Flashback, I think this one's called. Oh, that's very nice as well. That's got a real old school style livery on it. Uh, doesn't have the name visible, but I'm pretty sure it is the Formula Flashback. Uh, if I'm wrong with the name, please put it in the comment below. Uh, I have no idea what this one is. Uh, doesn't appear to have a name, so I'll have to do a little bit of research to find out what this one is, but that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like a Caterham or something like that. Ooh, another race car. 
Formula One style car, F series, or F Siri. <laughs> oh, it's a welly. There we go. So it's just a, uh, yeah, when you say that, uh, <laughs> it's probably gonna activate a few people's um, uh, voice box things, whatever they call them. So yeah, or their phones or whatever they are. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, another one similar to the last one, uh, only this one is in blue, another Welly. Uh, it doesn't have a, very, any information on the actual brand of uh, race car, but it's a Formula One style vehicle. That's cool. Yeah, I don't have very many Formula One style cars in the collection. Um, yeah, I, I should probably actually do something about that. Let me just move this, this stuff over a little bit. Let's move that over there. Uh, oh, we didn't look at this one. Once again, we have another one of these uh, spider cars. Uh, this one is the Street Creeper. So yeah, nice, nice hot rod once again. And we'll get onto this bag here because this feel, feels like it could be another one of those same bags as well. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know I'm going to be keeping this plastic bag now. Yes. It's an Iveco bag of some description uh, with the logo, the stripes, everything on there. It's a very tall bag. I don't know what this is from. You'll have to let me know. Um, but this is all loose cars as well. Um... I'm going to do a part two for the video because this is, video has gone on incredibly, incredibly long. We're going to do part two next week. We're going to go through this bag and we're going to go through all of these cars here in more detail. And if there's any cars in here you'd like to see in more detail for next week's episode, please put it in the comments uh, because this bag is actually bigger than the last bag and it's heavier than that last bag of these cars. So that I know there's gonna be a lot of stuff in here. Uh, so we're gonna save that until next week. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm actually probably gonna peek into it uh, just to get myself a little bit more excited for next week's episode as well. So actually let's just, we'll do one car, one car only. Whatever this one is. Oh yes. We'll do this one car and then next week we'll do all of the cars. Oh, that is nice. We have the, uh, the Challenger. I think this is a Challenger. The Dodge Challenger Drift Car. Wow, that's pretty nice. I don't believe I have this one either. Uh, bright green interior, big giant wang on the back there. Uh, it's got roll cages and stuff there too. It's got the Mopar, the Hemi, uh, some racing sponsors, 426. Uh, double star wheels in black with the green trim. Uh, no headlight details, but very, very cool. Dark tinted window and the same livery on the opposite side there. That is awesome. That is very, very cool. So that is the last car for today's episode. Um, yes, I know there's probably people out there shouting at the camera or at this, well, not the camera. That's, that's my job to shout at the camera and ramble on the camera. Uh, but there's probably a bunch of people out there going, why can't we see those cars now? It's because, well, we've been going for like an hour, guys. Probably longer than an hour. Actually, actually, I can guarantee it's been longer than an hour. So I'm going to wrap up the video. Next week, we'll go through all of these loose cars and these loose cars here in this bag. And uh, we might even open up a couple of these cars here. We might even open up this one here. And we might even open up those. So you'll have to put down in the comments which ones you would like to see. And there we go, guys. That is it for today's episode. Be sure to go over to Chasing Diecast Cars, say hello, share the love, subscribe, enjoy the content, and a huge thank you to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is, once again, beyond any kind of, any kind of comprehension and explanation on just the, the, the quality of stuff here. I am, I am so, so thankful. I am, you have no idea how thankful I am. This is just so much. Uh, yeah, so please, 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 everybody. I'll put a link to his channel at the end of the video. Uh, it's probably popped up now. Um, let's see if we can get up there. Go and check out that video just there, or maybe it's on that side. I don't know. And uh, be sure to uh, 
subscribe and share the love because he's an absolute champion and probably one of the nicest people you will ever, ever meet and speak to on show. So you just, yeah, I, I, I'm so blown away. This is so cool. And, I, and yes, just once again, that is awesome. Let's just end the show with this little beauty right here. Wow, very, very nice. All right, guys, until next time, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Chase and Diecast Cars. Go over and check him out, and uh, I will see you all next week. That is just such a beautiful car. Yes. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Awesome.